today's video I'm gonna show you guys how I made this beautiful mirrored planter and if you want to see how I made it go ahead and keep on watching hello everyone my name is Lisa and welcome to my channel and this on this channel I will be doing a variety of things from DIYs to home decor to organization and so much more and if you're interested in that type of content go ahead and hit that red subscribe button click the little bell next to it and that way you'll be notified every time I upload And today's video is going to be a collaboration with the beautiful and talented Keisha J from Glam Everything. Her channel is Keisha J. You guys, if you're not subscribed to her, I don't know what you're doing with your life. She has so much great content. She has home decor, she has DIYs, she has um, vlogs and different things that she's doing to her home to just make it all glam and all of that on a budget. If you like Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree hauls hair, makeup, beauty, I mean she has everything. So you guys go ahead and go check out her channel and check out her videos and subscribe to her if you're interested in that type of content. And now let's continue with this video and get into this DIY. You guys let me know in the comments if you think that this planner box is home goods worthy. So I'm going to be starting off with these Dollar Tree mirrored frames. They come with two larger tall frames and two shorter frames and I'm going to be using some other supplies glue gun glue stick a ruler to measure out my foam board where I'm going to be constructing my box so the first thing I did was to take these mirrors apart these uh, mirrors come off very easily from the frame you just kind of wiggle it and then they snap right off with the glue but of course be careful because it's mirror you don't want to cut yourself These uh, mirrors are one inch uh, wide, so I, when I made my box, I constructed it at 12 inches wide and 4 inches wide to make my rectangle. And then I just skipped one little line on my ruler, I think it's an eighth of an inch off, just so that my corners would line up. And I will put my exact measurement on the screen for you guys. So I had two long pieces and two short pieces to make my rectangle and then I just kind of um, worked it so that I know where I was going to glue everything. Next I work on the arrangement of my mirrors. They come like I said with a long or a tall mirror and a shorter mirror and I wanted to have a high low look. However to have the high low I would have a, a high at the beginning and then a low at the end. So I had to put two shorter mirrors in the in the middle so that I would have you know high low high low and then I would have a low low in the middle and then so I would end with a high if that makes any sense and if you hear any screaming in the background it's my baby who is freaking out for no reason now this is the arrangement and the next step was to hot glue everything and one thing I want to mention is the mirrors are not going to be fitting exactly on the foam board. There's going to be a little bit of a ledge on either end so that when I come and hot glue the other side of the box, it will all work out perfectly in the corners. The whole key to this is getting your corners right and when you glue on that very first mirror, making sure everything lines up at the bottom. I'm going for a floating look so the foam board is not supposed to show at the bottom or at the top and I will show you guys a little bit on that and what I mean later on in the video after I glue everything you guys will see so here is my first piece the first piece is very easy because everything just will have to line up to that now working on my second piece which is the shorter side of the box I put everything on the way I wanted it and then I used a piece of tape to put it down. I did not want to glue it on and then have everything just be all messed up. So as you can see right there, my corners are going to line up just very nicely. And I just wanted to make sure that was going to be the case before I glued anything down. Now that I knew that and then my pieces are exactly the same size, I went ahead and glued everything on using hot glue. Hot glue is not an issue when you're going foam board, but you can use E6000 if you want to. 
Once my box was constructed, it was time to work on adding the mirrors. And you guys, I'm using the 17 year old hot glue gun because my regular hot glue gun died. And in my larger hot glue gun, I didn't have glues for that because it uses full size and these use minis. Oh my goodness, it was chaotic. So I had to go to good old Fateful over here, my trusty raggedy <laughs> glue gun to make this work. So the rest of the time I just spent aligning everything up and just to make sure again everything was going to work out using it all taped up as opposed to glued. And I moved the camera to show you guys a couple of things. First, when you are gluing the mirrors, this is the best way I found to glue the mirrors onto this foam board as opposed to having it lying down or having it on the side because like I said I want that floating look and you will see right there there is a gap you can see the light shining through the box is not touching the bottom the bottom of the box is pretty much the mirror is holding it up and I really wanted that and the second thing is I didn't make the foam board too high that way it's not showing through at the very top also so it's gonna give you that really beautiful floating appearance and just hiding some hot glue onto the foam board. It's very easy. You just kind of hold the mirrors on for a couple of seconds and then they, the glue dries and you're good to go. This is a low temperature um, glue gun, but a high temp will be just fine. Just hold it a couple more seconds. And here is the corner. Look how beautiful this corner is. I'm just so happy with the way that looks. And if you try this and it doesn't work, you can always use some bling wrap to hide any kind of gaps or any kind of miscalculation. Bling wrap to the rescue, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's so worth the extra time. So I went ahead and finished off and hot glued the rest of the mirrors on. And finally, I worked on my base. Now I had already traced it and for some reason my camera was not recording probably because I didn't press record so I'm just gonna pretend I'm tracing it here but I traced it from the inside because I wanted it to fit on the inside and not the outside again going for the floating look so I'm tracing the inside of the actual foam board not the inside part of the mirror next I just use my exacto knife to cut it I was having so many technical issues you guys my exacto knife wouldn't cut properly it, it was a mess next I got some foam um, some foam for a foam <laughs> and I hot glued it to the bottom of my base I filled it up with some plastic bags you can use paper you can use whatever is filler covered it with some sheet moss I got the sheet moss at Walmart because I couldn't find any at my Dollar Tree my Dollar Trees here are not the best then I use additional greens I'm using this half topiary from banggood.com and I've done videos on those also and then some river rocks I think those are from the Dollar Tree I'm pretty sure and just to give it a natural look and then I just worked out an arrangement that I was happy with and this is my final result. I'm so happy with this. I can't describe to you guys how much I love this. The natural moss on there looks so beautiful. The orchids, which I didn't even talk about, are from Walmart as well. They were $3 a stem. But you can find them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or anywhere, any floor you guys want. I wanted to just give it some height. And this is what it looks like, you guys. It's so beautiful. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please check out Keisha's channel when you get a chance. And um, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. And I will talk to you guys soon. I thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.